Hey guys, today you will learn how to transfer your files from your iPhone to your MacBook and vice versa by using AirDrop. The first thing I want to mention before you start using AirDrop is that the physical distance between your devices should be kept small. Try to keep them as close as possible because AirDrop is a wireless transfer system and both of your devices, wireless, Bluetooth and AirDrop permissions should be turned on. If you don't know how to do them, don't worry, I will be showing them in this video. Otherwise, you can skip that section. You will find the timestamps in the description below. So, hope you will find this video helpful and let's get started. Okay, so before we start using AirDrop, we want to make sure that our devices, Bluetooth, Wireless and AirDrop is turned on. And to be able to see it, just slide down the top right of your device and then you should see a box here on the top left side. Now, if you press and hold your finger on this box, it should get bigger. Now, here are a couple of options that we see. This is the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth and the AirDrop. If they are on, they have a blue background. Otherwise, they have a gray background or a white background like this. Now, the important thing here is that the AirDrop icon. Now, if you click on this one, it will show you three options and both of your iPhone and MacBook should have at least the contacts only option or the everyone option selected. So I leave it as everyone just to avoid problems. And we should also do the same thing for our MacBook. You can see here on the top right side your Bluetooth. If it's off, then you should see it like this and you can turn it on from here. This is the Wi-Fi icon. You can turn it again on and off from here. And to find the AirDrop app, you can use the search icon and type here AirDrop. At the beginning, when I tried, it didn't work for me because I forgot to leave it as off. So make sure that from here, you choose the at least the contacts only or the everyone option. Okay, so now both of our devices, the wireless, Bluetooth and AirDrop are all turned on. And you should also remember that the distance between your devices shouldn't be very uh, large. Okay, now I'm going to send an example photo from my iPhone to the MacBook. So let's go to the Photos app. Let's choose, for example, one picture from here. And now if you click on this icon on the bottom left side, this icon gives the different sharing options. And I am choosing AirDrop from here. Now, if you are doing it for the first time, it can take a couple of minutes to find your devices. Now I'm selecting the device that I'm going to send the picture. Okay, now as we can see, James iPhone, my iPhone wants to send a photo to my to my MacBook. Now if I click on accept, the photo should probably go to the downloads part. So I will select open in photos so it will start your photos app. And as you see, now the same photo is on my iPhone and MacBook as well. Okay, now this time let's try to send a picture from my MacBook to the iPhone. And to send it this time I need to choose this icon and choose AirDrop from here. It actually took a couple of seconds to find my iPhone. Now I need to choose it from here. Click on done. And as you can see, uh, simultaneously we receive a message here. My MacBook Pro wants to send a photo. Click on accept and as we can see now the same picture is also at my iPhone as well. I hope this also works for you without any problems but if you have any questions or problems feel free to share them in the comment section. Otherwise if you find this video helpful please hit the like button. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next iPhone videos.